Hi, today we're going to talk to you about indoor plants and areas that have suffered from very, very bright direct sunlight. So not dappled light or morning light, but these specific plants can take really high light situations. So direct light right in through the window in the afternoon. These are the plants that we're going to talk to you about today. And this is Rhonda, our indoor plant expert. And I'll leave it over to you, Rhonda. Thanks, Jill. So bright sunlight in the afternoon. Very difficult. It's quite limited. But what is good, of course, is all the succulents. So they'll all do well, and cacti, of course. But also, think about gardenias. They will tolerate that bright afternoon sun and bring beautiful perfume to your patio or whatever room that does get that hot afternoon sun. So there is much taller growing ones and ones that cascade over the side as well. And when they flower, the perfume is amazing. Also, any of the euphorbias, which is this strange looking plant, that's a euphorbia, but also crown of thorns which has lovely pink flowers, sometimes you get them in yellow flowers as well. The mother-in-law's tongues can tolerate direct sun. Also protons, when they come into the garden centres, the, the bright colours of the proton will take that direct hot afternoon sun. They love that sun to keep their colour. Trilipsias, Bird of Paradise, the tall Nikolai, the short region eyes, all fine with direct sun. So it's mainly succulent types. Also Kalanchoes, flower and flower, fabulous. They come in lots of beautiful colours, the pinks of the oranges and the whites, lovely. When they finish flowering, cut the heads off, they'll re-flower, beautiful. Also, you can, when they come in, you can use geraniums for indoors. Also papyrus and water look fabulous in a bowl of water with these beautiful big papyrus coming up here. Short ones and really tall ones. Fabulous. Another succulent of course, the aloe vera, which you can use medicinally. Oh, fiddle leaf figs can actually take direct sunlight. So, you know, a good time to move them is if you do want them in that hot afternoon sun, late winter, early spring, get them used to that hot sun coming in and they will thrive in that hot afternoon sun, which is great. Oh, there's quite a few things to choose from. A lot of the other things tolerate more morning sun, so direct morning light, which is things like the chlorophyta, and they might get burnt in that hot afternoon sun. The syndapsis. Oh, no, I'm thinking about the kitchen. Now, I've got a, quite a bright kitchen and my kitchen looks out to the east and it's very, very bright with the yeah. I've got a little narrow gap there between the big windows and my thing. So do you think I could grow my herbs there in, yes. in small pots? The herbs are fantastic. Have them in little pots popped along your windows so of course some of them like a bit more water like the basil but time a lot drier. So find out what your herbs need and don't over water those that like it on the dry side. So with the herbs, it would be things like the Mediterranean herbs, really like the oregano yeah. and basil, rosemary, um, and, and rosemary yeah. and thyme. Yes. And then the more leafy things, like parsley and coriander, yeah. but they need a lot more water. Yes, they need a lot more water. They still take but, all that stuff. Yes, well they grow outside in, in the hot sun, as long as you keep watering them, of course basil can grow in the sun all the shade. But you know, with all the herbs, the more sun, the better off they are. So when you're looking at watering all these in that hot afternoon sun, of course they are going to dry out a lot quicker. The succulents can tolerate it dry, but you know, for them to, to thrive, keep them a little bit moister in the summer because they are getting the hot afternoon sun. Also the gardenias, they like just being kept evenly moist, but most things can tolerate it dry, but in the summer, water a lot more than what you put in the winter. So another thing that's really good for good light is the ear plugs. Fabulous little things. I love them in their little glass globes. So to water them, you take them out, you throw them in filtered water or rainwater, let them soak for an hour, let them drip off, and then poke them back in. You can spray it straight in there, but the thing is, the glass will start getting sort of all motley and horrible. But there's oh, all different kinds. That's Spanish moss. Fabulous. So they just grow outside in the full sun. And my ones at home, I just throw the hose over them ever so often and just, you know, 
have them a bit of water at least once a week. But lovely things, and they do flower. They have a lovely flower. Now, that gives you a general idea of plants that can tolerate that full afternoon sun. It is tricky to get the ones that won't get burnt. And so, have a look around. You've got most of the succulents, most of the cacti, and a few things that are colourful. They love that sun. So thank you and I hope you can find what you want for that situation.